Hey, uh, my name is Joe Hill. I'm with Lucid VR. Uh, how many of y'all heard of VR, virtual reality? All right. So, a little different uh, presentation than out in you know, different areas. Everyone here is pretty familiar with VR. Every day we've been hearing different ways of how VR is penetrating the, the mainstream. New York Times, um, Oculus, all these things. But when will it really hit the mainstream in a meaningful way? We really believe that this will happen with the content creation. So we put together this thing called Lucid Cam. It is a VR consumer camera, 180 degrees. 3D immersive content. With a simple click of a button, you can start capturing your own VR consumer content. So whether you are strapping it to your chest, putting it on your head, or more likely just holding it out as you're viewing something, you're able to capture this content and then re-watch it in an immersive, easy, shareable way. So um, what we've seen with this um, is actually we've captured a lot of content now. Um, and we have our own app where you can upload all this content um, and uh, it's called Lucid App on iOS or Android store so you can download it now and uh, you just go ahead and download it from the cloud you can watch it like so and put it in your uh, VR headset it's headset neutral so you can go with a, a cardboard we're really trying to be accessible to anybody um, whether you know Gear VR or Oculus, um, we want everybody to be able to consume content that other people are creating. Right? I, I'm actually not a gamer. My name is Joe. I am an average Joe, and so for me, I'm the best user, being able to capture content, edit content, and being able to share content. So what we're looking to do is really empower not only these early adopters, which you guys most likely are, but also the people down the road that are be catching that VR stream. So we are on Indiegogo. We just actually hit our goal. Um, and we're raising uh, uh, additional seed funding now, um, and we're really excited to get this camera out into people's hands so to see what you guys do with it. Uh, honestly, it's been a very uh, big learning experience for us to see what people are doing, um, whether it be from uh, skydiving to watching people saying their I do's at a wedding to their first steps of a, a child uh, as they're taking their first steps. So we're really excited to really enable uh, this VR uh, content revolution. Um, a little more on the specs, um, it's 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, early bird pricing was uh, priced at $299, that's actually sold out, um, but our retail price is going to be $499. So a lot of people were buzzing about the Nokia Ozo uh, and that 60 k price, so this is a nice you know, way to save some money, um, but also create some really nice VR content. Um, you can check out our app and all the content on it. Um, also, we're looking for other partnerships in terms of content creation, um, and if you want to check out more information, we are on Indiegogo, or you can check us out at lucidcam.com. Thank you. Any questions? When I uh, use a VR headset for an extended amount of time, it starts making me dizzy. Do you see any solution to that problem? Could you repeat the question too much? Sure. So uh, he was talking about headsets and using it too long and getting dizzy. So again, I'm the perfect guy for this because I get like motion sickness in the back seat and in the car. So um, the way that you know that we've really worked on this is really the calibration and making sure that the um, headsets are the best set for you as a person. You know, it's really got to be um, the right um, space between simplifying it with your eyes, and that's kind of the inspiration for this. A little backstory: We actually started off as a robot company, and we're we're going to do a robot live streaming. Um, we actually ripped off the eyes and wanted to create that uh, uh, that eye experience that uh, humans have um, with with that. So it's it's mimicking the eyes experience. So in terms of the content creation, it should be lined up with the average eye um, kind of uh, space between them. But you know, it's it's one of those things that's going to be you know dealt with time. Um, with the right headsets and that manufacturer and getting people to customize with their eyes. But I, I don't get motion sickness and that's my, my test. So. Yes? Um, I guess my idea of VR is when you're able to turn your head and, and, and see changes and that doesn't seem like what you're after at all. 
So actually, you can move around. Um, so recommend checking out the skydiving one, especially if you want to save two hundred dollars on the skydiving jump. Um, you can actually look around um, one hundred eighty degrees. And one thing I did not actually mention, and that was was actually you can scale up to three hundred sixty. We do have an open source um, platform where you can um, get three cameras all in one, and essentially modularizing VR content creation experience. But but to answer your question. Um, can move around. Um, when you look at the kind of VR landscape, um, there's low cost solutions and really expensive ones, like you mentioned. Um, do you see this technology being um, useful and prominent kind of with the everyday person in the next two, three years, or do you see it as something that's further up? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that um, people are discovering new solutions every day. Um, we really do see a lot of um, content creators that are creating content right now, say like filmmakers and, and those uh, people really liking to control the narrative. And you know, one big uh, point of VR is the 360 experience, but with the 180, um, you're able to really um, control that narrative and on, be able to hold and um, recreate that experience. So. Um, in terms of kind of the creative side, um, we see that happening a lot. Um, in terms of the everyday use, um, we could, you know, see in it from you know, security um, size uh, specifically, also with um, expats. I don't know who else is an expat or a transplant. How many people are transplants? Transplant, people that aren't born here. Or, yeah, so I'm a transplant. Uh, me and let's share um, that type of content with your family or, or friends back home. I think that's where it really penetrates um, the everyday use. Any more questions? Okay, please check us out at lucidcam.com. Thanks so much. All right.